In this video, we're going to review a polynomial factoring technique that I like to call quadratic form. So we'll be looking at the polynomial y equals x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4x. Now looking at the highest exponent, you can clearly see our degree is 4. So this is not a quadratic, it's a fourth degree polynomial. However, we're going to rely on our knowledge of quadratic factoring because this factoring will be very similar to that. So consider if we were looking at the quadratic y equals x squared minus 5x plus 4. So see, we just knocked down that x to the fourth term to an x squared and the x squared to an x. So this is just what we're thinking. Okay, We didn't actually do anything mathematical here, um, but we're thinking about this helper equation so that we can get the equation we want factored. Okay, so if we were to factor this quadratic, of course it leads with two factors with x. We need numbers that multiply to give positive four, add to give negative five, just traditional factoring here. So we would factor this one as x minus four times x minus one. Okay, so hopefully you're seeing how this line of thought will help us factor our fourth degree polynomial that we actually want. Similarly, we'll see we can factor it into two binomials. And this time, I think when you're multiplying out these two binomials to get back to the original polynomial, you're gonna multiply those first two terms. So instead of x and x, x squared times x squared gives us that x to the fourth term that we want. And we're still looking for the rest of the binomials, two numbers that multiply to give positive four, but add to give negative five. So it's going to be exactly the same as our helper equation, minus four and minus one. To check yourself, multiply it back out. So x squared times x squared gives x to the fourth. We're using the FOIL method, so the outer would give you a minus, so we're looking here, minus x squared. Inner gives you minus four x squared, so that gives back the minus five x squared. And then the last two, negative four times negative one, gives the positive four. So we can see this is successfully factored. And of course, we want to fully factor. So we recognize two binomials that are difference of squares. A quick review on that here too. Okay, so difference of squares, x squared minus four factors into x plus two, x minus two, x squared minus one factors into x plus one, x minus one. When you want to double check that you correctly factored the difference of squares, you'll notice your outer and your inner terms cancel. So those are the terms with x. A minus two x cancels with a positive two x. All right, so you know you have it successfully factored. And don't forget that a huge advantage to factoring a polynomial is that then you can see its zeros or x-intercepts. Simply take each factor, set each one equal to zero using that zero product property, and you'll get your x-intercepts. So for example, x plus two equals zero gives us x equals negative two. So set each of the other factors equal to zero, you see that you would get x equals two, x equals negative one, and x equals one. So these will all be x-intercepts and that's really useful when you start sketching a graph of a polynomial. Hopefully this helped review quadratic form style factoring and this will also be a great foundation for graphing some polynomials. Links will be in the video description if you want help with any of the other polynomial topics and thanks for watching.